Welcome back to Fox News in the Morning. We have got a guy here who is, he's famous now. It's all because of one show he was able to get on as a stand-in. Chance Gillian, correct? Yes. I don't want to butcher your last name, but you have been a very busy guy working on one of the most popular shows right now, nationwide, Yellowstone. How'd you get on this show? Well, uh, I got a call. Okay. I was here in Missouri, and they said, hey, we're looking for real cowboys that can do cowboy stuff mm -hmm. for Yellowstone. I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I ended up leaving Missouri, driving out to Montana, and uh, you know, thinking it was gonna be a one or two day deal, ended up me being out there for the whole summer and into the fall. And uh, from uh, just being able to ride a horse, got me on getting lines in the show and being a uh, principal actor in Yellowstone. So you do a little more here in Missouri prior to than just riding horse. What kind of cowboy things were you doing? Uh, so I had got, so during the pandemic, I left Missouri and went out to Wyoming mm -hmm. and then started working for uh, some ranches, doing some cowboy stuff, taking care of cows. And then one thing led to another, casting was actually looking for real cowboys. Mm -hmm. And they had found me via Instagram. And they were like, hey, this guy has the look that we're looking for. Like, let's, you know, let's bring him in. So I got a call, they were like, hey, uh, let's do this. So I ended up leaving the ranch mm -hmm. and then doing my real cowboy stuff out in the show. So it was uh, it was quite the experience being from you know a real just a cowboy and then going and doing it. What do you think about Montana? What did you think when you got, first got out there? Um, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like everything you think it is on TV, it is in real life. Mm -hmm. Like with the landscapes, the beauty, it is what it, they portray it in TV. Um, you kind of get sucked into it while you're on film and then you just kind of get lost, you know, in the atmosphere of being in Yellowstone. It truly is big sky country. Mm -hmm. When you went for this stand-in audition role and they found you and said you fit the part, could you imagine you'd be on one of the most popular shows on TV? No, no, it's really like just, I could not believe, it's a very surreal just being like watching the show and then being able to be in it as a person now it's it really still hasn't sunk in like that i've got to do it and now it's led to all these other opportunities after this uh, being able to work with like kevin costner and all these guys i've looked up to for years as just being a you know just a small town cowboy and being able to do it now for real is something really special i feel very blessed to be able to be a part of it what's your schedule been like like travel and stuff like that uh so when i got there i didn't really plan on staying that long and so what i ended up doing is i got a job working at a real ranch when i wasn't filming mm -hmm. so i actually showed up and i met the actual ranch boss and i said hey i'm here filming yellowstone do you guys need some extra help he said can you ride a horse and i was like of course so i jumped on a horse actually rode it around mm -hmm. he's like all right you got the job i got a place to stay there and then ended up working on yellowstone and working as a real cowboy while wow. i'm filming <laughs> yeah two birds with one stone yeah and now yeah. you're famous yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. well real quick when you come back home and visit missouri what's it like when uh, your friends and family see you it's, now that you're a little more it's, popular. Well, it's just now sink in. I feel like uh, there was a local article that came out in my paper back home and it started to blow up. And now people are starting to see me on TV because season five comes out. And I don't get my lines until later on this season, but you'll see me in the background kind of mulling around until I get bigger parts. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely like, people have noticed me. <laughs> oh, they're really gonna notice you now after this segment. Like, That's yeah. the guy from Yellowstone. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for joining us. Real quick, if you had one message for people who haven't seen Yellowstone, if they haven't, what should they, why should they check it out? Uh, it's a great show, uh, especially now, um, you know, with the turmoil with the world stuff. It's just mm -hmm. cool to see like what Americans have done and like how the family struggles to make it through their, uh, you know, their family from where they started, where they come from, and try to build on that relationship and, just getting through stuff, tough times. Tough times. Thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate you, yeah, man. Thank you. Good luck moving forward. Thank you.